Good morning guys, I'm finally ready for the day, heading downstairs because I've got a builder coming round this morning. Also, somebody asked about this hallway the other day, have you panelled it, have you finished it? Uh, no, it still looks like this. We've actually decided that we're going to board it and get it plastered so that we can enjoy it and paint it for now. The panelling just isn't a priority when our life looks mostly like this. Just put a hand cream on, hang on. Like this. Ah, the joys. Yeah, we've got that chair in there to sit down. We do cover it when we're doing dusty things, but it's so nice to be able to sit while you're doing the work. But yeah, anyway, so the um, build is coming today. Hang on, I don't want to go in the room. This Reno video is going to be coming next week, but this here is like a structural wall in the house. And we're obviously planning to put two doorways in here. So we want to get a builder to do that for us. We thought about doing it. We kind of weighed up whether we should or not, but ultimately we decided the structure, the bones of our house, playing with those, not safe. Not safe. So we're going to get an expert to do that. Our dishwasher is so noisy um, it's just coming up to about 10 o'clock now I've been doing emails for a little while and waiting on this builder who should be here at 10 fingers crossed he doesn't let me down because I really wanted to get out today but hopefully we can do that afterwards but I've just remembered that our doorbell is currently chiming with a witch's cackle from Halloween and it is time to change can I already do a go to Christmas I'm not sure I'm gonna see if they have some Christmas chimes. No, Halloween's gone and it's just back to normal, normal rings. That's very calming, isn't it? God, some of these are dreadful. I think I'm gonna go for the calming one. Which one with it? Hop. Let's try that one out. They were really great. They arrived on time. They were nice. I am hopeful about them hopefully being able to do the work. Sorry, I'm literally inside our cupboard. Getting our food bags. I don't need that many. I need to just pick a few out. Actually, haven't shown you this. We decided, well, we had to, move this door to here and it's actually really nice because it now hides the washer dryer so that door originally was here but obviously now that we don't have a lodger we don't need the door there because it was for privacy reasons so we don't need it we obviously need to touch up here and unfortunately here we had a bit of a disaster we had a leak outside, so Ollie repainted the wall. Obviously, we've brought, taken off all of the paint. Um, and it's still a bit damp. It's like the worst time of the year to get a leak. So we're just waiting for it to dry out. That's a dehumidifier there. And then I'm going to paint it in some, like, breathable paint. We don't always film it, but in a house like this, there is always things going on. Like, there's always some kind of just, like, maintenance project to do, as well as the renovations. And I don't even think I said, I'm heading out now to get some food supplies because I really want to do a slow cooker stew. We've been having HelloFresh meals for the last 
maybe six or so months now and we absolutely love them but we're getting to the time of the year where life is just hectic especially starting the new renovation and we just don't even have the 20 30 40 minutes to cook dinner when we get home plus it's getting dark now the clocks just went back so it's more difficult to do things in the evening so i'm going to hopefully put some meals in the freezer because we still need to eat semi-healthily and we both love us doing dumplings so let's go <laughs> I'd kind of forgotten what it was like to go food shopping and I must say I haven't missed it especially mid-morning usually before we were doing the like delivered meals we would go in the evening kind of late at like past seven o'clock and the supermarkets would be quite empty but it was madness I'd like queue for a parking space and then I've got my bags and everybody was looking at me like are you moving <laughs> and I was like oh no um yeah anyway then I've got the ticket where you can like refund it at the end of the shop but I got the goods and I actually got enough when I was in there I was like okay I'm gonna get enough to do a stew and to also do a spaghetti bolognese because I'm not sure <laughs> I want to come back anytime soon. But I am going to crack on with the stew now and hopefully get it in so that it has, it'll still have most of the day to cook, it's just gone at 11 so hopefully, yeah, should have quite a few hours. Also picked up these because it is hot chocolate season and we got the big ones, they're not the same, you have to have the small ones. put on the Christmas tunes and I think this is pretty much everything that I'm gonna pop in I thought I'd try this dumpling mix that M&S had too um, and I like putting tomato base a little bit in mine as well which I know most people don't do and I'm not sure whether to go for vegetable stock or I've also got some beef stock too so let's get chopping this this takes a bit of time I must say like stew is the one that takes the most amount of time but this should feed us, for two of us, at least three or four evening meals. So the time that I put into this will mean that we can have a stew once a week for the whole month of November. If I also do spaghetti bolognese, I have that too. So I like to have three or four meals that are freezer meals in the winter, so that at least three of the dinners are just out the freezer in the morning, heat them up at night. have filled it to the brim. I'm pretty sure this might bubble out over, but I'm going with it. Hopefully it's okay. Just got a few more bits. Oh, that didn't melt very well. To pop in, my secret ingredient to everything, smoked garlic. We love smoked garlic on everything. We put it on like our avocado on toast and also in pretty much every meal like this that's slow cooked. And then I've got my bay leaves to put on top and then I'll have to taste it later when it's cooked to see what it's like. Just need to mash that one in a bit now. And of course I'm now starving. I did pre-think this. I picked up a tomato and basil soup so I'm going to chuck that on because that's a good thing about when you slow cook in the morning. Is it, you never fancy it because it's always a bit too early. But it's coming up to lunchtime now, so I'm starving. Is there anything better than sound and smell? So 
Sorry, Ollie. Anything's going on. <laughs> we have a smart boiler which we can um, do via an app, but we've never set it up because the house has always been so, I mean, it's a bit confusing with all the radiators because they should be on different zones, but they're not quite yet because some of the old system is still in. So I just have to turn it on now. Anyway, I'm now hopefully gonna do a bit of a clear out, come getting ready for autumn winter because it cold. <laughs> it suddenly got cold here just like the last few days and I'm like, mm, I need to pull out all my clothes bit cozier now. Before I do anything, I actually have to unpack a bag. I went to London with mum to try on some wedding dresses and came back and didn't get to unpack it because we had friends staying and then we did the more DIY. This is gifts that we've got for our bridesmaids and groomsmen but I haven't given them to them yet so I want to show you to spoil the surprise for them. And then this is what I'm dealing with. It's actually pretty unorganized at the moment. I've got like coats mixed in with dresses and then coats again down here. I don't think I'm gonna put things away because I've got nowhere to easily store it. I could put some in these top boxes. I think I've only got one free though, but I don't necessarily need to, like at the moment I've really curled down a lot of my clothes and I don't need to do like a summer winter switch, but I think it's always nice to go through it double check if there's anything that I don't need anymore. I've got a few bits of Ollie's here which I've just cracked in because of like washing and bringing it up. So I'm gonna do that. And I've actually just been editing the video of the master bedroom where we started pulling it out over lunch. <sighs> Guys, I'm so sorry. You like actually always see me at my worst. Maybe I'll try and insert a bit of footage here. Kind of hilarious. But yeah, at the same time, I feel like you never actually see me wearing my lot, a lot of my clothes, but I do wear them like day to day normally, but a lot of the stuff that I film is DIY. But I did um, a bit of a poll, no Q&A on Instagram, and so many of you said, I'd like to see more of your just like general day to day. And I think more of the like shopping, wedding type stuff. So I'm gonna try and do a little bit more of that. Although with the wedding, it's a little bit, it's odd because I don't want to give too much away and if I'm really honest with the wedding dress shopping I was just totally overwhelmed like I took my camera with me and I felt so overwhelmed it's an experience that obviously you never have um, it's dresses that you have never really tried on at least the style and you only have like a certain amount of time in an hour I could try on about four dresses and quite quickly sometimes when I got them on I was like oh, I don't really like this one yeah and it just the experience went quite quickly and obviously mum and I were up in London which is a little bit of a distance from us so we wanted to make the most of it and by the time that we got to one appointment and then got to another one it was just a little bit hectic a little bit hectic I haven't found the one yet though so maybe there still might be a chance that I take you along but I think as far as the process it's maybe not something that I feel comfortable filming just because it's a setting that is so different and I obviously don't want to give anything away to Ollie or family. And because the appointments are quite short, I really need to be trying on the dresses that I, the style that I like. So it's not as though I can go in there and try on lots of different styles because I need to find this dress. Apparently I'm already a bit late and I need to find it in the next like week or two, so pressure's on. Also, sorry if you've been catching a glimpse in me in my thermal leggings, socks and slippers. Not quite the look. When we moved the stuff downstairs um, from the pink room as we called it, we had a whole rail of coats and so unfortunately they've been moved up here and we kind of need to keep them here now until the master bedroom is done. Which, I mean, it's not such a vibe having this rail here, but it has to be in a room to stay away from the dust rather than the hallway. But I think I'm gonna try and rejig it all, basically, um, and organize it a little bit so the coats are all in one section. And then I think Ollie's going to have to have, also, I'm ignoring this for now. Um, he's gonna have to have maybe a rail in here to also make some space for now. Not quite sure how I'm going to fit it all in.
changed my mind, I decided that I would put away summer and looking at my wardrobe, I think most of my clothes are summer, a lot of it is being put away and it's kind of worrying me a little bit. My wardrobe looks quite sparse and putting them up in the grey boxes, though I'm filling them quickly. So I'm going to get down my winter and see what's in there, hope that I can pull most of that out. But I think it'll just be hats and scarves, so... Yeah, I don't think I ever realised how much of my wardrobe was summer and that's a little bit worrying because in the UK I feel like we spend most of our time in not good weather. So that's probably not that practical. I've got a load of thermals in here and as I said, tights, scarves, so we can get all of those out and also fill that box, which is good. When I was in London, I did pick up a few basics as I was running around. Actually, I can't show you that, that's addressing. Face mask. Um, I got the leggings which I have on actually, which are these here. They're both from Uniqlo, and these are the Ultra Warm Heat Tech. Really nice, but what I will say is I'm like probably more towards a size 10 than a size 8, and small is still quite baggy, so I'd go down a size. Unfortunately, I also got these in the small. I'm sure I had these in the small before. Um, again, same kind, it's a little bit cheaper, so I don't think they're going to be as warm, but these really are warm. These were £19, and these here were... £24.90. Love their leggings just for like laying or layering under dresses, even jeans when it's really cold, and also just wearing around the house generally with like a jumper when I'm relaxing a bit. And then, probably one of my favourite stores ever, went into Muji, is that how you say it? And picked up basically travel things, like thinking of the wedding next year. I love to be organised and I absolutely adore their kind of like clothing cases. We have quite a few of these, but we often feel like we need more. So I picked up two large and one small. The large are really good for like dresses or shirts and you can fold them quite flat for a really big bag. If you're only traveling with a travel on um, case, then you probably want mostly size medium. And the small's quite nice for like socks, pants, underwear, accessories. Oh, and I did also, I got a medium too. Um, so one basically in each size and then I got one of these which we just find useful for like Such random things. Ollie actually uses these for all of his techs I thought I'd pick one up in my color for my tech um, and he puts like uncharged batteries and charged batteries or like Wires that you're traveling with so phone chargers and stuff like that we just, I mean, I personally, I like love to put things in, in bags and I, even when I go on holidays, it's going to sound so OCD, but I plan my outfits and I put my outfits sometimes into a bag. So if I'm going somewhere for a weekend, like I did with London, I packed my two to three outfits in their singular bag with my underwear and accessories all in that one bag. So when you wake up in the morning, if you don't have a wardrobe where you're staying or you're just in a bit of a rush, you can just pick up your bag with all the things in and it makes it really simple and easy. And then I also got one of these for going on the plane, taking beauty bits and bobs. I love their stuff. And I can pop this. We have um, a case under our bed and another one of these gray ones for all of our travel bits. So I need to pop that under there. This bit of hair annoys me so much. I'm currently growing it out, but it's at that annoying length. That if I put it behind my ear, it like curls to my ear. I can't wait till it's a bit longer. Well, I've made quite the mess and a lot of spare hangers. <laughs> I had to like push them to the side to actually be able to sit down. I'm so glad that we got this sofa up here because it's just so lovely to be able to sit down, especially when doing a task like this. But I have got somewhere. The hangers are ridiculous. Don't judge me, but there are a lot of hangers here. Wardrobes are looking way neater, super organized and everything is inside them. Nothing is on the rails anymore, which was my task for today because obviously with the house getting dusty, I just want everything put away as much as possible. The scarf still needs to be put in Ollie's chest of drawers. These bits here are stuff to sell or take to the charity shop. I'll show you those in a second. If any of you want any of the pieces, let me know. Now, here's the hangers. Oh my gosh. 
Oh god, it's bad, isn't it? It's really bad. Um, there's quite a lot there. I'm quite shocked at how many there are there, to be honest. We usually have spare. We like to have like a good load spare in both of our wardrobes. But I must like, summer is obviously my clothes. These are my summer boxes. I can put those away now. That was my winter stuff that I got out. So yeah, that's kind of where I am. But I'm at that point where I kind of just want to stop. It is 20 past three, so it's not gonna be long until it gets dark now. So better get up because I need this finished semi earlyish tonight because I'm either gonna start filling the skip or perhaps go to Home Sense. I really don't need to go to Home Sense, but I fancy doing it. Um, I should fill the skip instead though. Slash, I really need to finish the wedding invite, so that's another thing that I could do. I mean, my list is endless, to be honest. And I even have space, like a lot of space. This is my jackets, jumpers up here, kind of long sleeve tops, few skirts, I don't have many skirts. And then these are Ollie's jackets that he didn't have space for in his other wardrobe. And then in here I have all of my coats and dresses and jumpsuits. And then my trousers are down here. I was supposed to get like a pull out drawer from Ikea for those. Did I say that earlier? I probably did. And now I need to get those back up there. But yeah, it all actually fits in pretty well. <laughs> That might have scuppered our plans to fill the skip. I don't know if you can see, but it is raining out there now. And I'm done. It's not super tidy, but it's as tidy as it's going to get. I may have hidden some hangers behind here, but I'm not sure where else to put them. Um, and everything is now nicely in the wardrobes. I've also got some hangers over here because they have far too many. But once we move downstairs, we'll need a lot more hangers because Ollie folds a lot of his stuff right now, but he would like to hang more. And it's actually been a really good process. Sometimes I think, oh, do I really need to switch things over? My wardrobe's fine as it is. I don't need summer to winter. But just clearing it so that you can actually see the clothes that you have, see what you're missing, just makes it so much better. I'm really glad that I put some stuff away. And also, it's been really nice because we're obviously designing the room downstairs and I'm thinking about wardrobes. I'm thinking about all the nitty gritty things like where will we put a laundry bag? Do we want to put the laundry bag somewhere hidden in the dressing room area? If we do, we'll have less storage space for clothes, that kind of thing. And it kind of shows how, how many wardrobes I think I will need at least. I think we kind of know with Ollie and what will need to be hung or folded. In the downstairs dressing room as it is, we've got like a little bit of an awkward space where because of the corners some clothes will kind of get buried so I guess downstairs we might end up putting the coats back there in the summer vice versa when it's winter yeah and I'm just wondering like it's funny how we'll have a dressing room but I don't know if we'll have a huge amount of space the ceilings are really tall and we plan to do floor to ceiling so that we can put away summer stuff which I do think would make a huge difference and obviously I think at some point, I don't know, where do you guys keep your coats? I have, oh, did you hear me? Coats. I have so many coats and part of me feels like, do they go in a dressing room? I suppose they do because they kind of like finish the outfit and a lot of them are wool coats or a Mac or I don't know. Sometimes it's nice to dress an outfit around a coat. Anyway, yeah, they've been thoughts that I've been having here while I've been clearing the room, getting it ready for autumn. The weather outside is just crazy. It keeps raining and then it's cleared and it's really beautiful. But I actually need to sit down now and do some more work. So laptop time is obviously not interesting for you guys to see. It's what I spend a lot of my time doing, whether that's emails, editing videos, or just general research. Anyway, I think now that I've cleared it here and it's much nicer, I'm gonna sit down here. And this is what I mean about the weather. It's sunny again, it looks like it's gonna be a nice sunset. So pretty. It's a bit later, Ollie is home. He's very excited because he is getting a new phone. Oh no, his new phone arrived today. I had to spend my afternoon in just to make sure that it was delivered. What phone do you have? A seven. Ah, uh, 
I was going to say, I was saying to my mum earlier, oh, it's like a, I'm sure it's as bad as a six or something. And then I was thinking, no, it can't be that bad. But basically it's, it's, it's a seven. It has a massive battery case, but <laughs> otherwise the battery dies within by 9.45. It's dead. Yeah. It's time. It's time, but it hasn't been a priority. I upgraded mine last year because it got to the point where I was like, mm, I don't think I can take on like Instagram jobs with Insta stories without it. I was having to do it on like another camera. Such a shame when the camera quality seems to go down when the new ones come out. Anyway, I'm going to show you Ollie, but he's literally in his boxes right now getting ready. And he's come home, um, it's raining outside, so we can't do the skip, and he wants to pay with his phone. But I do actually have one request. Yeah. If we can, I'd love you to help me get the planter boxes off the front bay window so that I can get some like autumn, winter plants in them this week. You think you're putting your pajamas on? We, I mean, should, we could do it in the morning. Anyway, sorry, I'm talking over you to Ollie. So I'm gonna sign off here. If the vlog is long enough, then I'll leave it here. If not, I might be back tomorrow, but either way, see you soon. Also, I did manage to get five double meals. So this one bag for both Ollie and I out of the crock pot, but it pretty much has been full today. They look good though. Is it like Christmas morning? You're in your dressing gown and you're <laughs> yeah. opening a new phone. It is a bit like Christmas. Uh, on you, has got so many legs. I'm so hot. I need to take it off. <laughs> Bad idea. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I feel like I did that without kind of like. Are you really want to take in this like... moment? Do you? <laughs> it almost feels like you open it a bit too quickly, like. It'd be oh. nice to like open it and then like you. open it a little bit. I know, it's there now. It's, it's nice yours. Okay. You're going to scratch it by tomorrow, no doubt. I found a really burly case on Amazon that part of the reason my phone's dying so much is because dust from the renovation yeah. gets in there. Yeah. I found a case where it covers that up. Oh, so you have like a little flip lid for it? Yeah, it's got like a little flap that you have to open if you want to plug it in. So... <laughs> I'm very worried about damaging this. <laughs>